here in the woods surrounding our little cabin doing a nature walk and surveying to see what kind of trail work I need to do on, on our trails as a result of the storm that went through last night. We were very fortunate in that regard. As best I can tell, we didn't have the weather here that they said we were going to have, that they said we could have. In fact, uh, I slept through it and was undisturbed by it. We're fortunate because a lot of people, they got some bad stuff uh, yesterday and overnight last night, especially to the west of us and inland. And we're really thankful for our blessings uh, where that storm was concerned. Thought I'd take you with, you, uh, with me and do a little video. I got some things I'd like to share with you that we're involved in and, and it's been a while since I've done a video. Charlie and I have been, we've been running all over having fun and making videos really wasn't on my, you know, frontal lobe. Uh, we were basically enjoying ourselves and, and having a good relaxing time and we've got some more of that coming up too uh, very soon. So stay with me. And let's go for a walk. It's beautiful just being out here. I do more ambling in the woods than I do hiking in the woods. Hiking seems to me to always have a, some distant destination in mind. And that's okay. That's a part of it. But for me, an even larger part of it is to just amble along and see what I can see and hear what I can hear. I derive more pleasure out of those, out of ambling and the things involved in ambling in the woods than I do choosing a destination at some distance and then getting there as fast as I can to do what I need to do there, missing everything or a great portion of what was before getting there. Uh, that's where I get my pleasure. 
and people can do what they choose in the woods, but the woods are a beautiful place, full of sights, full of sounds, the way the light is reflecting off of the new spring growth in the trees. There's a lot to it. Pretty little spot here. I've had my eye on it for a while now, thinking that it'd be a great spot to put a bench, a place to just sit, listen to the wind in the trees and the birds, maybe watch the squirrels, and you never know what else might come by. There are a good many deer in the woods and if you sit long enough and you're still and the wind is in your favor blowing your scent behind you, a, a doe or maybe even a buck may wander by. Beautiful creatures to see in the woods. And I'm also thinking that this would be a, a great spot to develop into uh, something of an outdoor classroom. We've got the spot set up at the cabin that's, that's, that's quite convenient for us, but working with a, a new group of, of, of folks, uh, particularly three, three young men, I don't want to call them boys because you know, that, they're really not boys. My, my, my two grandsons are boys, but these guys, they're already uh, they're getting up there in age. They're young teens, and, and uh, we're, we're looking forward to spending, investing ourselves in them, mentoring them in outdoor skills. And that's one of the new things that we've got going on. Not that it's new to us. It's new to this particular group. Well, we've done this before uh, with a group down at the other place where we lived in the other part of the county. And it was very rewarding, and we're hoping that we're hoping that some of the things that uh, that they learned in, in, in developing outdoor skills and, and things like that are things that they will carry with them for the remainder of their lives, and hopefully at some point in their lives, pass that on and pay that forward into the generation that will be coming along behind them, and that's one really of the. That's one of the very important things at the heart, of, at the heart, at the center for us of being out here and doing what we do. I think I'm gonna fix myself a little cup of coffee out here. Got some fat wood that I picked up. Even though the, everything was wet and the rain, just just laying on the ground, actually. Been there for decades. Something I busted off of a, a big chunk of lime. I made me a little pile of shavings. And then scraped some with the, the 90 degree spine of my knife. This is a condor wood law that my son-in-law bought the blank and put the scales on it for me and I've been using it for better than a year. One of the things I like about it is that sharp spine on the back. It's a great great little knife. Deadwood. So 
I just walked around and picked up. Get that to lay on there better. Get that little fire going good, put my cup on, and we'll be back in a minute. Ah, that's plenty hot. Some people might call that a almost a boil. Uh, one of them seething things. It's plenty hot enough to do what I need to do. Steaming. Steaming hot. Ow! So is that lid. it up some. Uh-huh. Mora. Mora Companion. That's been a good friend for a number of years now. That's probably too hot for me to enjoy. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit and uh, enjoy that cup of coffee out here in the woods. Folks, here in the last little while, our channel has gone over 100 subscribers, subscribers. I want you to know that I appreciate you, each and every one. I'm tickled that... David Crawlick Outdoors has over a hundred subscribers. For me, that's significant. I want to say thank you. Here's mud in your eye, folks. Have a great day.